Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. In the last episode, uh, we went to the Nether uh, and did some stuff there. We came back and was. Did we go to the Nether last time? I think. No, we were going to try to make the jetpack. We ended up doing a lot of quests. Um, we're going to continue doing that today, uh, getting more power, maybe. What is still charging? This is probably the... Yeah, that has so much power that it can take. Uh, let's get a little bit more coal in here. Um, this guy is filling up with power. Uh, so let's actually turn this on for a little bit. Just a little bit of a... Let's fill up all this stuff and then... That's good. So make sure that a little bit goes in each, especially dust. I want mostly dust right now. Um, oh, hey, we have Eulorium now, finally. Cool, that goes right there. Right, and that should be everything that we can sift. So we shouldn't see anything like left behind or anything like that. Uh, we have all of these except for gold gravel, um, which we one piece away from that. So I'll have to keep an eye on that too. But so yeah we did a lot of quests uh we have a lot of animals over there um ready to be well murdered but i was looking um in the tinker tools and i should have read uh so all of the tools are uh they're all one level lower than the maximum level so while my endearing pickaxe said that it can mine manulin it can't I don't believe. Not yet, anyways. We have to level it up in order to get that. Um, so yeah, that is something that I didn't realize. Uh, that's why we can't mine the cobalt and ardite in the nether. Um, but we'll deal with that later. So I'm going to upgrade this guy for just now. Uh, for just right now. And today we are going to be doing a couple of different things. So um, first things first, we were trying to make the potion generator last time. Um, we're going to go ahead and make that like right right away that's gonna give us a leadstone energy cell that's nice and full um so i have everything here i just have to make some more obsidian we're waiting for redstone and yeah easy enough so furnace and there we go so there is a potion generator uh let's go ahead and claim the reward that unlocked the culinary generator uh, times eight which i believe let's see what does it take to make this other than a bunch of culinary generators? That's a lot of iron um, for the record there. But it does require a transfer node energy, which means QED. Um, we will get into that later, uh, but not today. So do I have the culinary generator? I, yeah, it's right here. The only thing is, is we don't really have any good food to give it. Um, power level zero, wow. Okay, power level 16. Never mind. That's not terrible, but that's not very good either. But what we can do is we can figure that to an input. We can place uh, this guy right here, output to the side. And once it's done, we will probably upgrade it and place it somewhere else. Uh, and then this guy, we're going to go ahead and put right. Ah, you know what, let's put him right here, and we'll put input there. Um, and I do actually have a potion. Uh, so a witch dropped a potion while I was doing it. We have a potion of health. Uh, we can't make this any better or do anything with it because we don't have a brewing stand yet. Um, but we can throw that, throw this or not uh, it's got a weird number um, never mind we can't use that uh, the reason being if you look at this um, we can't use it for anything uh, we can't see how to make it or anything like that uh, it's a weird item because if we look at potion of no what is this called 
Uh, let's just look up healing. Really? Potion? Huh, we can't see all the potions from Minecraft. That's, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, that's, that is a thing just to kind of hide items that we don't need. But yeah, we cannot use that for the potion generator. Which is kind of butts, but whatever. Um, so more power over here is good. That means more redstone and stuff like that. We have five more redstone. We need a little bit more. Um, we need a total of 13, I do believe. Um, but I also have something else ready. So let's go ahead and make this. So we need to make uh, another machine frame. And easy enough. I got most of the stuff together. So machine frame, we need a bucket. Uh, we need one of these redstone reception coils. And I believe that's it. So end bar gears, like that, machine frame. And there is our induction smelter. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna place this like, um, let's pick this guy up. And we're gonna place it right here. Uh, and I don't want it to look like that. I want it to actually look at me, so let's uh, smack it around. And we will put the last solar panel there. Uh, so once all these machines fill up, they will be um, pretty much set with power. So let's input that. And you know what, let's actually pick up our culinary generator. And we'll put that guy right here. So let's put, I don't know, nine seed soups in there. Um, which will power up a lot of this stuff. So we have the induction smelter now. Um, let's turn the configuration off. Uh, and that should have been a quest as well for assembly line? No? All right, whatever. Um, that's fine. It might be a quest later, who knows. But anyways, that's going to be important to get um, just for the future. So we need to start looking into a couple new things. Um, so the last thing that I'm going to be working towards is the um, jetpack. The leadstone jetpack, which we can then probably... Uh, that's going to require a lot of bronze. We might be able to do that. And then upgrading that, uh, we won't be able to do that until we get another machine, so we'll have to wait on that, plus a lot of Electrum. Uh, as you can see, iron is the big thing that we're low on, so that is something to keep in mind. But I still want to try to go back to the nether today and find the boss and kill him, um, just because that would probably be, I don't know, that seems like a good idea to me. Uh, but anyways, we need... To start working on something that is kind of the whole point of this map. Well, it's the name at least. So it's about time we did some agrarian stuff. So it's time to get into crops. Um, we've kind of messed around with crops a little bit uh, in the beginning, but not really. I'm gonna keep those guys, these guys here, because it doesn't really matter. Um, but we need to start looking into making rhubarb. Uh, now rhubarb is something it wants us to make uh, for the sky farm. Uh, it's the next quest and it kind of tells you how to do mutations and all that fun stuff. Um, and all that fun stuff. But we need to make rhubarb. Uh, rhubarb is made from lettuce and sugarcane. Well, we already have sugarcane. Easy. Uh, com quest completed. But we need to get lettuce. Uh, lettuce is made from celery and daisies. Um, celery is allium and seeds. We have seeds, so that's easy enough. Uh, allium is a flower, so it's made from all the other flowers. So we need to get to... We need pumpkins and we need melons. Um, so I have melon seeds, but I don't believe I have pumpkin seeds. Uh, I also need to see, what is it? Sugar cane, is it both sugar cane? Yes. 
All right, so sugar cane and melons or pumpkins. Well, I don't have pumpkins. We could make pumpkins. Um, I believe um, pumpkin seeds are carrots and potatoes. But that's not an easy thing to get. Uh, we can get it 3% from dirt. So let's sip some dirt. I think that'll be the smarter way. Uh, we're also going to need just a little bit of sand. So let's grab our pulverizer. Let's, let's just do one piece of sand uh, just to get the sugar cane. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So there's the sand. And let's run over here to get some dirt. So I have nine dirt. I could probably use more. Um, I think we could use eggs to compost, but meh. Uh, I do have another stack of... Uh, yeah, I have another bit of uh, rotten flesh. I believe it's 10 each to get a piece of dirt. So let's go ahead and just do this. And let that run. And we still need to eat. So let's get into farming. Agricraft. Agricraft is a lot of fun, but it is kind of slow. So I'm not going to do just like a bunch of it on camera, but I'm going to do enough. Uh, anyways, we need... Let's see. If we do it like this. Okay, we'll be fine. Um, first things first, we're going to take five dirt. No more than that. And we're going to try to get some pumpkin seeds. Um, probably not going to happen, but we're going to try. Because I think it would be better in the long run to try to get pumpkin seeds uh, than it would be to do anything else with uh, this stuff. But we didn't get it. Oh well. Uh, I don't want to use all my stuff, so let's go ahead and we need to get some crop sticks. And we're gonna get carrot seeds that I just picked up. Um, and let's see, I want a decent amount of wood. So I can make a decent amount of sticks. So I can make a decent amount of crops. Uh, so let's see. Wait, what is... Oh my god, we have lettuce. What gave us lettuce? Was there a quest that gave us lettuce? Um... Why did we have lettuce seeds? Alright, so this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. Um, we're going to go straight to rhubarb, so... Uh, let's grab crop stick and rhubarb is sugar cane and um, lettuce. So I believe, I'm not sure, sugar cane does go in this. It's fertile and can grow. Lettuce goes here. Uh, next thing we need is some bone meal, uh, which should not be too difficult to grab. Uh, let's see, one, I want to see, yep, there's some gold ore do that and put that in. So we have a decent amount of bone meal in here. Might as well just grab this. And let's go ahead and grow these all the way. And now the question is rhubarb grows on farmland. So we do this and I have a watering can. And you just water this and hope for the best. Uh, so you're gonna get a lot of other things um, but that's just kind of how it is. It's random chance. Uh, it's but it's not that difficult. So let's grow a bunch of this, and there's our rhubarb. So that's all. Um, we're gonna get some nether wart for that. Uh, now my question is the nether wart. Ooh, we can directly use this. Uh, so let's grab the sand. Uh, and let's. Those guys can stay there. That's fine. 
for right now. Um, let's get unidentified. Basically, anything that's un unidentified has been um, put into AgriCraft stuff. Uh, and basically what that means is it is now technically an AgriCraft seed. Um, and all that means is that it will have stats associated with it. So AgriCraft does a bunch of different stats. If I, let's see, I identify one of these. Um, this has two growth, one gain, one strength. Uh, growth is how quickly it grows. Uh, gain is how much like stuff it drops. And strength is a couple different things. It's how resistant it is to weeds and how likely it is to like mutate. And there's uh, one other thing that's influenced by strength, um, which if we ever get into it, I'll explain it then. Uh, basically, you, you can do clippings of crops and that is what determines, um, strength is what determines how likely it is to be clipped. But we have nether wart now, so we can come over here and I want to make a piece of soul sand, which we should have. Which water? Uh, so we have a piece of soul sand now. We can start growing the nether wart we just got. Uh, let's make sure we eat, because that would be very important. And I think it's time for us to try to make this jetpack. So I'm just going to put this over here. Um, yeah, right here. Why not? And we just put nether wart down, and it'll grow eventually. But we have rhubarb, which is a nice plant. Um, I can get the normal seeds for it, and we can use those and grow a bunch of it uh, with bone meal. And typically, you'd want like 10, 10, 10 plants, but eh, with a lot of this stuff, it's not really worth it. But um, seeds can be upgraded to be grow faster. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with the... Uh, uh, all the different stuff, but this, you, uh, but you either use identical plants or the parent plant type. So, yeah, um, always try to get the best, and that's to get tomatoes. So, how do you get tomatoes? Uh, tomato seeds are carrots and sweet potatoes. So that's actually pretty easy. Sweet potato is just sugar cane and potato. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll grab sugar cane. Uh, actually, let's just do it right here. So lettuce, uh, put that back. We just need a potato seed or like a bunch and grab this. Uh, these guys can go somewhere else, but actually I'm just going to throw these off the edge and that. All right, so we have potatoes and weeds have sprouted ah uh, yeah so weeds are gonna sprout if uh, you don't do anything with the stuff um, let's get normal potatoes uh, a normal sweet potato seed and then we're gonna use this guy here I hope that was the normal. Okay. Uh, if not, I can get it from uh, just growing them. I want to keep some of the normal ones just because I can bone meal those easier. Um, basically, if you bone meal normal plants, you can just hold right click and you'll get a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can't do that with the agricraft stuff. Um, so, let's see. Tomato with sweet potato and carrot. So, looks like we need a carrot seed. Uh, we'll put that right here, grow it all the way, and then try to crossbreed it. Um, wrong button. Uh, so hopefully we'll get tomatoes pretty quickly. 
Um, nope, <laughs> not, not yet. So if we can get the tomatoes pretty quickly, then we can, that's carrots as well. Uh, then we can, oh, screw the weeds, I hate the weeds. All right, let's get rid of them. Uh, you can use the rakes uh, to get rid of the weeds. Sweet potatoes. And can we get tomato weeds? So yeah, that's because they have low strength. We got really lucky, I think, with the rhubarb. But tomatoes, there we go. We'll grow this all the way up. Take a tomato. And then we're going to grab it like that. Uh, let's see, unidentified. Anything that's unidentified, we're going to put in here. Now we have the tomatoes. And I know it said, you know, grow it up real strong, but meh. I don't want to. Uh, let's throw that in there. And we can just bow meal this and get more, plus more seeds. So I think we needed 16. There we go. Um. We're going to throw those away. So that should be that quest as well. Uh, as you can see, Agricraft is good, but hey, that's going to give us a machine frame. That's really nice. Uh, so you can upgrade the seeds, but you also don't need to. Um, we're going to want to make these roast redstone dendron seeds. Uh, these produce redstone, um, but they require specific blocks underneath. Um, so the redstone... Uh, plant this guy is from daisies and red tulips and it requires redstone ore below it um, below the ground that it's growing on just to let it mutate um, kind of cool but definitely something that's going to take a little bit of time and I think we're going to wait for a little bit to do that just to get a little bit better um, as, in, as like situation but like uh, a little bit better in terms of area. So let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Uh, let's see, how much more redstone do we have? We have two. We have a bit of iron as well, so we can put the bone meal in there. It should pull out and go in here. Uh, let's see, what else can we get rid of? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the machine frame in there. Hopefully I don't forget about it because that's something that's going to be really nice to have. Uh, we'll probably make, I don't know, we'll probably make a magma crucible or something like that. And let's grab this. I don't really need the tomatoes either, so... Oh, can I not? Oh. I guess I can't compost those. So... Uh, let's go ahead and put the stuff back over here. We'll put this in the food chest. Uh, what can we take out of this? This can take out. Uh, and put all this stuff away with the crop stick stuff. Uh, I'll set up a nice little area for that later. But let's see if we can't go ahead and make a jetpack. Uh, and then we'll go to the nether and if we can make the jetpack, then we'll go to the nether and take care of things there. So we have 11, we need 13 in total. So let's grab a stack. Let's do like that. Uh, it'll be better, I think, in the long run. So we need lead, copper, mostly, uh, for right now. And let's get rid of this. Honestly, most of this stuff, it looks like we can get rid of. So we need a leadstone jetpack. Uh, first thing we're going to need to make is this guy. So just a little bit of redstone, uh, lead, I think it was copper, and sulfur. So that's the flux capacitor. Not too difficult. Um, a lot of redstone is about the only thing. Uh, and then these jet, th uh, these thrusters require uh, steam dynamos, which is going to require four... Um, Oh, for the uh, copper gears. So that should be four. And then what else are we going to need for that? Three more copper each. So six more copper. And I believe it's gold. Um, I know I'm going to need gold for that, but what's the... It's silver, so we need two silver. 
So let's go ahead and start making this. Uh, we'll start working towards these thrusters. And then I believe on the bottom it's redstone as well. Yes. So as soon as this is done, we'll start casting out our gears. And yeah, this is going to be expensive redstone wise. Otherwise, it won't be too bad, but um, it is flight. So that is really nice to have. What is the armor for this? It's iron armor, so we need five iron for 10. Um, that would use up all our iron. We'll see if we can make that. Uh, we're going to need that eventually to make some of the better armors for the jet plates, but the jet packs rather. But there's the two steam dynamos. Uh, let's see, what else do we need for this? We need uh, more redstone. That's what we need. So it's going to be a little bit more lead. Uh, that's not too much of a problem, so I'm not too concerned with that. Leadstone, flux ducts, um, redstone, and so we just need four more redstone, and we should be able to make these jetpacks. Uh, now, one other thing that we're going to need is leather. Uh, so let's see if we have any leather lying around. Uh, and if not, how can we get some leather? I think, yeah, we do have for leather, we need two iron for this. So I don't think we're gonna be able to make the armor. Actually, we could go ahead and smelt up some iron. Do we have nine? We have six. All right, let's go ahead and do it. We'll get a block of iron plus a little bit. Uh, so we'll get that, we'll get two iron. Um, and yeah, so we're going to need a little bit more redstone and leather. I think we have pretty much everything. Uh, so we can once we get four, if two. This is going fairly strong. Uh, let's go sleep because it's going to be night soon. Uh, and while we're over here, we can go ahead and make. Um, I think it's like this. Yeah, so the leather strap, um, basic uh, jetpack like piece. So let's sleep. Our um, all of our stuff will start powering up again. We can get a little bit of iron. If we get two, and then four ten. We should have pretty much everything we need. Um, so we need two gold. Do we have two more redstone? We only have one. Come on, redstone. <laughs> it's giving me plenty of other things, but just I just need one more piece of redstone. Um... Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. Now I'm a little worried. Do we not have any redstone? Uh, so... Let's put a bit more in there. Yeah, we're not getting any redstone. So, we literally just need two more pieces. And we should have everything. So it's like four more pieces of lead. Put the rest of that away. rest of that away. And we also have the armor. And then if we want to upgrade this, uh, we're going to need a lot of invar. Uh, more redstone. That's the big like sticking point. Um, but we shouldn't need all that much if we're kind of um, careful with our usage of the, uh, the jetpack in the nether. So this is consuming so much. Um, I really need to just keep this off and let it kind of gain power and all that fun stuff. So yeah, can we just get one more piece of redstone? 
Nope. Nothing. All right. Um. But yeah, so we'll go to the Nether. Well, there, we have some coordinates we can go to. There's the redstone. I grabbed it. I have it. Let's make these redstone reception coils, and we will go to the Nether, and at least see what this boss is. Um, whether or not we can fight him, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna be smart about this. Uh, so there is the two thrusters. So thrusters, this, and there. There is the jetpack. Now let's get. Uh, our armor plating and we can upgrade it so we have a tier one jetpack it does not hold very much power at all wow that's full that's actually really nice that's also really surprising but there we go jetpack is charged um, what's the hotkeys for it uh, let's Let's see what the controls are for simply jetpacks. Um, F, but it's being used for something else. So let's do uh, minus and plus. So yeah, I want to grab something. Uh, I believe, let's grab a little bit of cobblestone. I believe if we do this, um, Usage. Yes, we can make stone ladders. I thought you could. Um, so we're going to make a bunch of stone ladders. We need just a little bit more. Uh, let's make more. 52. We're going to need that much more. So yeah, stone ladders are a little bit cheaper than your standard ladders, but um, not by much. And let's put everything away that we don't want to take with us. So all we're going to keep the enduring pickaxe. Actually, all of our tools we can keep because most of the stuff we can replace uh, pretty easily. I, other than the iron lumber axe, that's the expensive thing just because it's kind of annoying to have. Um, to make anyways let's take all this <clears throat> and we should be good to go so let's take this guy off we'll put our jet plate on our jet pack uh, let's turn the engine off for right now and let's go ahead and go to the nether so uh, you know what let's go grab our health potion uh, I don't know that we've done any like quests yet um, we have Two quests. And the only question is Mob Hunter. Oh, we killed I killed zombies. Never mind. Um anyways, we need to go to the terrible um negative two negative three hundred two hundred. Uh let's grab a bunch of cobblestone. Let's throw those in there. Why not? Um you know, I also want a handful of intervals, just a few in case, and a bow, health potion, and a cobblestone. Alright, uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, other than food, <laughs> we could use more food. Um, Sue, so let's, let's see, how many seeds we have? We have we have seeds. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Get some more food. And all right, let's go to the nether. <clears throat> oh, sorry about my voice. Uh, I'm still fighting. Uh, I've been sick the last couple of days. Uh, just kind of sore throat. And yeah, I'm trying to get over it, but it's slow going. Anyways, so there was a thing over here. There's a nice little tunnel and oh that was to Soren. that's right uh it was not that one it was oh uh, where was it there was a thing that looked out of place and it was 
Um, but something else that we can do in the nether. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, hey. Hello, Mr. Gas. Uh, is there any of those trees nearby? I didn't bring any... Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring any... Uh, yeah, right here it was. Uh, I didn't bring any crooks, but there is a thing. So yeah, let's activate our jetpack and our hover. So we can come down here. And I don't know if that's a super like good shortcut or not. But what we can do is we can turn our engine back off. We still only, we only have 90% of our jetpack so far, like still. But I'm not seeing any of the the nasty uh, hellfish, which is nice. Uh, just a bunch of zombie pigmen. So let's, uh, oh, great, ow. That hurt really badly. Uh, so let's put a nice ladder here. And this will be our way back up for when we need it. Um, we just go right over there and everything's good. So let's put a uh, waypoint here. Uh, new ladder. I'm going to turn it off though, but we're just going to save it. And let's see, we have to go to negative 300. Oh, hey, we got a gluttony shard. Cool. Um, Native 300, 200. Uh, now this is heat sand. We have uh, boots, so it doesn't hurt. So this general direction and that way. So we have some heat scar spiders. They're not too bad. Uh, we're gonna kill a few, so might as well. Uh, he was a special mob. He had potion effects. So it looks like we can come this way. Uh, we might want to watch what we kill. So these trees, if you crook these trees, you can actually get redstone in some mod packs. Um, I don't know that it's this mod pack. Oh, also I'm looking at the wrong number. All right, uh, we have to look one more time. So negative 289, 200. Um, so 200, so it's just like this way. It's probably down here. There's probably another like hole or something. Uh, can we change the, uh, nope, not actions, uh, options, mini map. I want like that. Um, so we want, yeah, there we go. So 200's here-ish. We just need to go like on the other side of this wall. All right, so I guess let's just kind of dig. Um, this is good because it's gonna level up our pick as well, so. Uh, I was hoping it would break open, but not like this. 
So I see something there, I think. So let's try to get, like, around. Um... some sort of uh, let's try to get around to some sort of like opening luckily this pick is really nice all right if we keep going this way we should be good uh, let's eat. and hopefully we can find this terrible dude and not die a horrible horrible death So we're on the heat sand. Should be like less than a hundred blocks in this direction. But I'm not seeing anything, and that terrifies me. All right. Um. Yeah, we're 50 meters away. That's uh, disconcerting. Let's run. Butterflutter the Terrible. Okay, not sure if it's a joke or not. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Running away from the butterfly. Um... Oh, not right now. Okay, that really hurt. Is Butterfly still coming after me? I think we might have lost it. Uh, let's, let's attack it with a bow. And... Oh god, this is terrifying. Uh, luckily we have plenty of arrows, so I'm not like super worried. I'm just not sure if it's doing all that much damage. <laughs> oh, I should have expected it to be something like this. Um, I don't want to kill the wisp because I will probably end up killing uh, or hitting a pigman and bad things will happen. So something we could probably do is uh, to do some physical damage, because that might be something we need to do. Let's get a few blocks up, and I don't think it will be able to hit us. Um, it also some, doesn't seem to be interested in us shooting it from this far. Um, so. I don't know quite what to do. Ow. I hate wisps. Wisps are so annoying sometimes. Yeah, Butterflutter is kind of terrifying. Um. Ow. And there's all of our stuff. Uh, oh, great. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, uh, dang, Butterflutter. Um, luckily, it's not too bad to get back there. Uh, I just need to restock food and honestly get a new weapon and we're gonna see if we can't take down that butterfly in the next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next one bye